Okay, here's a really quick video how to solve the first one. Okay, how do I do this? Because now I've got this extra guy down here, and he's looking up, and he sees the top of this flagpole. And you're thinking, this isn't what I did before. I want you to always think about all the questions as triangles. So who cares about this guy? Just think about the triangle itself. So you know that he's 12 meters away from the flagpole. So that means if I looked at this triangle, which is starting from the top of his head, and it's looking all the way up to the top of the flagpole, and it's also 12 meters away from the base of the flagpole. So this is also 12 meters. Solve this triangle first, and then worry about the guy afterwards. Okay, what I want to find is how tall the flagpole is. So I want to find this side, or x, going from here to the bottom of the triangle. First thing you always do is think about where you're looking from. He's looking from this side. So this will be your O. That's your H. And that makes this the A. So you think about which two sides am I using. I want to find the X, so I have to use O. And I have to use the A because that's the only other piece of info I know. So I'm going to use O and A, so I'm going to use tan. So it's going to be tan of the angle equals O over A. Okay, next thing you got to do is plug in everything you know. The angle is 46, the O side is X, and the A side is 12. Okay, this is an easier one. You're just going to be solving by multiplying. Because it's dividing 12 here, if I bring this 12 up to the other side, it'll do the opposite, and the opposite of division is multiplication. So you're just going to go 10, 46, bring the 12 up, and times it. So when I do that, I'm going to go 10, 46 in my calculator, hit equals, and times it by 12. And I get x equals 12.4. So that means the height of the triangle is 12.4. Okay, it doesn't mean that's the height of the whole flagpole, because remember the whole, the whole flagpole is from here all the way down to the bottom of the guy's feet. And the reason they showed this is when you're doing like a trigonometry question, if guy was measuring the angle, remember he's going to be putting the device to the top of his head. So you're really measuring from the top of his head to the top of the flagpole, but you're forgetting that he still has a body that's connected to his head. So all you've got to do is also add on the height of the guy, and the height of the guy is 2 meters. So that means the height of the whole flagpole would be 12.4 for the triangle and the guy, which is 2 meters. So when you add those two together, you should get 14.4 meters, and that's the true height. So if you see questions where they have a person being drawn, it means find the triangle first and then um, add on the height of the guy at the end.